All right, guys, today I've got a little review of this little uh, launcher right here called Smart Launcher. So this is on my Galaxy uh, S4, and let's go ahead and check this out. So here's the launcher. This is like the basic interface, like when you unlock the phone, this is what you're going to see. You got all your shortcuts right here for, you know, picture, for camera, and uh, things like that, you can see. Um, you got your phone your internet looking at Zillow at houses it looks like and then from here you can hit your little icon down here in the bottom corner and it brings you to this screen um, so what you have here with smart launcher is, is some basic settings you have your messaging communication stuff right here you have internet you have games media stuff media you can see at the top right up there utilities and settings and it pre-sorts all of your applications to fit into these categories for you they can be moved around um, so for example if you want to take uh, minion rush you hold it down and then it gives you some options you can do with it or you can take it and you can drag it up to communication and now it's in communication or you can take minion rush and drag it to games and it'll be back in games so there is some organization you can do with this you can also scroll on the side here and just scroll through all these things which is pretty cool um, so so far the apps pretty good hit your menu button down here and you get preferences and this is some preferences for the launcher you can set it as default um, you can go into some visibility things some screen orientation uh, sorting. I put my uh, thing on the left hand side and you can uncheck that and if you come back out of here it is now on this side. I like it on the left because I use my right hand and it seems quicker to function with my thumb easier. So I, I like to leave it over there. So we'll go back into preferences, settings, and left handed. Just because I like it better. And then there's some personalization stuff you can do here with clock and the style you want it to look like jelly bean and ice cream sandwich whatever um, some bubble things some different animation background colors and things like that so there's some customization in it some icon sizing and things like that there is a full version which unlocks more things like uh, widget support right here if you want to have widgets in there you got to hit this one but it costs you got to buy the premium version of smart launcher so pretty cool it's the version right here, Smart Launcher icon. Um, I like it. It's it's nice. It, it keeps it really basic. Everything's pretty basic. And then if you just want to go back to your main like screen, you just swipe over and it clears that thing off the side, that little launcher bar on the side. Pretty pretty simple. So it's a very basic uh, setup. You still do have your multi-window manager if you want to use it. All your applications still uh, obviously run exactly the same. It just sorts it and uh, gives you a real simple interface to work with. So there you go. This is going to be my review of Smart Launcher. Um, please check me out at rootjunkie.com or Facebook and Twitter. I'll put those links up here for you guys. Um, also, if you want to see any of my other launcher reviews, I have quite a few of them. Check me out over here um, on my playlist on YouTube for launchers. And that's it. I uh, hope you guys like this little video, the review of a Smart Launcher, and we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.